Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 141. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so hopefully for this episode, I'm not going to mess up the audio because the last episode, the start was messed up. The episode before that, the end was messed up. It's so like that middle section between the two, completely ruined. <laughs> so, fresh start. We're on the Class B um, Speedway Championship thing. Starting off with Sunset Peninsula Raceway, then Sedona, and then Twin Ring. Let's go. Hopefully, today's Humble Bundle was actually decent, because the last three days have been shit. Literal shit. By the way, this is the best Lamborghini. The last car that we drove, that Ferrari, was the best Ferrari that's ever existed. This is the best Lamborghini that's ever existed, hands down. Ha hands that sorry that was a terrible joke hands i apologize uh please don't kill me please don't unfollow i i, I need your follow thank you <laughs> you can understand that i won't the only thing i don't like about oh wait no it is it's the full white interior oh Oh my god, they got the full white interior in this. Hands down, hands down. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love that. It's such a good meme. You are my sea. Nothing lasts forever. This car feels slower. It's really weird. It's a whole class above the Ferrari, but it feels slower. I mean, by all means, I would much rather this Lamborghini over that Ferrari. This is one of the most beautiful Lamborghinis ever. Like, every time I think of it, what is the best Lamborghini? I always go Countach. Uh, not Countach, Centenario. And then I just look at the Countach and I'm like, oh, but that's so good. This is one of the few cars that will not age. <laughs> Americans wouldn't understand the joke, though. They're scared of the bill after calling the ambulance. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's your bill for almost dying. Huh? Beep. How many times do you think in America people have died after being handed the bill after almost dying? I, I can guarantee you Ameri there have been Americans that have done that. Like, they've just had a heart attack seeing the bill and then the second time they just couldn't revive them. And imagine that happening and they do revive him and they're like, oh, by the way, this is your new bill. And it's double the price. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine. The thing is, right, medical care and the stuff that goes into medication, like, the medical industry is a ripoff in America, right? In the UK, it doesn't technically exist because it's not an industry where people make money. It's basically run by the government it's government funded it's funded by taxes and all that so in theory it's not really a business you go in there you get treated you go home problem solved in the u.s it is a business and it's so bad like what is it insulin the guy who had the patent for insulin I believe he sold it for like nothing because he wanted to be able for people to be able to make insulin cheaply. It was like I don't 
the thing is, I I really wish the guy who invented insulin kept that patent. I I think it's insulin. I'm not sure whether it's insulin or penicillin, but it's one of them. And they sold the patent, and because it it's not patented, people just make really fucking expensive medication that's necessary for people's lives, and it's stupid. Thing is, if the guy who invented it still had the patent today, he could say, you've all got to pay me five dollars each. And you're not allowed to sell insulin for more than a tenner. And if you sell it for more than that, I'll sue you. And that's the grounds to be able to use, create insulin. And if they did that, insulin would be so much cheaper. Somebody needs to buy the pack for it. Make insulin cheaper. Like, any drugs that are necessary for someone's life, that's too much. Five dollars is not a lot when you compare it to... Like, that's life necessary medication. People will spend five dollars quite easily on something that they don't need to save their life. So for something like that, that makes sense. But for life necessary stuff to be charged at ridiculous prices that people can't then live... Like, how... The thing I don't understand, how is it fair that someone who is born perfectly healthy and doesn't have any medical conditions is allowed to live and spend money and have a life but someone who has medical conditions whether they're born with it or they develop them or whatever can't live their life as a normal person they have to live their life working to be able to live and buy the medication to live but they're not really living because they're not doing stuff. They're just working. It doesn't make sense. Mathematically, it does not make sense. It's very, very confusing. In all honesty, out of everywhere in the world, America is the most predatory nation in, in the world. Like... I know Americans... Americans will go around and say, Oh, we're the land of the free. We have so much freedom. I can do free speech. I can do whatever I want. Newsflash. No, you fucking can. I'll be honest. If there is a place that is the most free, which there is no such thing as a free country, but countries like... I think Canada is a lot more free than America is. I mean, there's no such thing as true freedom, because if there was true freedom, there'd be chaos. End of discussion. Because true freedom means someone could just go murder someone. And it's like, oh, well, freedom of activities. I'm allowed to kill someone if I want to. You know, it's fucking stupid. Just for context, I'm not actually going to, like, go and kill someone and be like, freedom of whatever I want to do. But there are daft Americans that would do that. <laughs> like in all honesty America is not a free country it is the least free of a country out of all of the countries sure there are places like Russia that aren't very free Ukraine that aren't very free um I don't know Kodo, please don't tell me you, that you counted that. Also, I would like to tell you you are incorrect. It's actually 669, not 670. You have miscounted by one. It's 
it's just that America is such a, a an odd place. It's such an odd country. And the people there are... I know Americans that are decent people. Americans are, as individuals, when you talk with them, you know, game with them, whatever, socialize with them, they're fine. But as, like, a society, and when you talk about anything that's, like, remotely even, like, 0.1% political, they're just so dumb. Yeah, pretty dumb. F R W E D U M B. <laughs> like, I have American friends. That uh, they will agree with me on it, anyways. But as a whole, America is a really fucking odd place. You're back to life. We're gonna make you and I the world tonight. Also, chat, we are 15 pounds away from doing um, Car X Street on the channel. I think, actually, we we got past that. Has Car X Street even come out on PC yet? It was supposed to come out soon, wasn't it? In fact, yeah, it should have been out by now. Yeah, Karak Street hasn't released yet. Did they delay it again? Yeah. Healthcare should be free. Right? It should be the only thing in life that is free. Especially if you're a developed society, like America. Places where... It's very difficult to be developed, like certain countries in Africa. Fair enough. But, like, if you're a country that's as developed as America, the so called, oh, we're land of the free, no. Stop lying. I mean, there's a very vast difference between being money hungry and trying to fund your Twitch channel. There's a very, very extreme difference because all the every donation that happens on the stream for now is going straight back into twitch unless i start earning at least two grand a month at which point i can then say i'm earning money from this this is now my job until i start earning two grand a month there is no way in hell and until I start earning probably 250 a month every month I am funding my own twitch channel so you know like it cost me 20 pounds a month just to have videos on YouTube because of the music licenses I got funding Assassin's Creed purchases <laughs> that Assassin's Creed purchase actually was from Christmas money like I said <laughs>
Love mate. Bring us back together. I mean, on paper, you might not see all the purchases that I make to keep the Twitch running. But there's a lot more than just buying Assassin's Creed, for example. That Assassin's Creed came out of my own money. There is all sorts of other purchases and, like, funding behind the scenes. Like, music licenses. Ten or a month. As a minimum. So, every month. I'm having to pay a tenner. So if, if I have a month where I don't get £10 from YouTube, I'm paying it either out of the Twitch money, or if I don't get a payout out of that, that's coming out of my own bank. Just for the licenses. Because the YouTube, YouTube isn't earning enough at the moment. Get on and watch YouTube videos. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm doing this solely... Like, I'm, I'm not making profit at all. All the money that gets donated is to help support the channel. And it makes it so that whenever I am funding stuff for the Twitch, it's not absolutely crippling me. Which it still is, by the way. Like, I don't have the money. Literally don't have the money. I'm hoping to hear back from um, the job interview I did before, but, like, I don't have the money. So, all the donations are the things that are to help keep the Twitch channel running. Help fund the Twitch stream. And meaning that I don't have to fund as much that month. But, like, un unless people are willing to spend 250 quid, 500 quid, 750 every month to keep the channel going, it's coming out of my pocket. I got no problem with that, by the way. I got no problem with that, because I enjoy doing this. But at the same time, to say that I'm a greedy money grab... It's not really the case if it's not profiting at all. As soon as I start making profit, and I start earning money from it, if I then start going, Oh, come on, just an extra five, uh, just a... Then maybe, yeah, you could say, Oh, what a money grab. Once I start earning, like, a decent amount of money. We ain't anywhere near that yet, so... Yeah. I get a good feeling, yeah. This is a good one. Like, I am just here to chill at the end of the day. But... No, rest in peace, Avicii. Honestly, such a sad, sad, sad moment. Rest in peace, Avicii. Weep, 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 weep. Weep, 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 Yeah. I mean, Avicii, the big hits that he made are that, big hits, they're really good. I think he again was an overrated artist because some of his songs were not big hits. Hard to say, but it's true, it's true though. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Beep beep, motherfucker. All right. All right, so we're here for the Class A Speedway Challenge. We got a Murcielago, the original one. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Sedona Raceway, then Sunset Peninsula, then Sedona. 
Domino Raceway? What? Twice? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because it's going to be about... 5 o'clock anyways. I'll start cooking it. I'll have my dinner about half six. Yeah. Holy crap, this is much better than the other Lamborghini. This sounds awesome. Look at it. This is a beauty. Alright, so don't turn out of the fucking corner. <laughs> Stupid car. There you go. See, this is the one thing. The physics model, and especially the collisions model in this game, is stupid. I mean that you need me. Poor Lambo. Tell me that you need me. Do 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 do. Holy shit bollocks. Oh my head. Fair enough. I mean the Catalonia circuit I fucking hate, but that's pretty cool. It's pretty mint. Fucking mint. Lamborghini. Bop. Suzuka. Fair enough. Lamborgo. Lamborgo. I'm driving a Lamborgo. Have you got a Lamborgo? No, you don't. <laughs> Give me your Lamborgo. Lambo. For all your things, we guess. Hey, tell me that you need me. Tell me that you need me. This Lamborghini. 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 Speedy man Lamborghini.
Lambertitis. Nice. We're done. Done, done, done. Right, on to the next one. Result. Eight grand. All left. Let's go. Ooze. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> A little more. Mm. All right, not bad. I will take that. Take that very well. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Thank you very much, good sir. Very good, very nice. Thank you, sir. Good, sir. Yeah, rope man. In it, G. <laughs> Fuck it up. So close to 200. Hey, nice one, hands. Yo, King, what up? How are you today? Hopefully, you're having a good day. Jump back, back, back. I did it again. Got free tickets to enter the Mac giveaway. So I got four games to give away after this championship, and then I'll do another two at championships and give away another two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little more. 
12 hour shift yesterday, Jesus Christ. Not bad. God, I imagine, I, if I was ever told by an employee, or like an employer, oh by the way, we need to do a two hour shift, I'd be like, no. It takes me two hours to get to work and get ready for work and get home from work. I'm not wasting two hours for only two hours of pay. If they paid me for four hours, then yeah, maybe. Because I'm getting paid for doing fuck up. <laughs> I'd never take a two hour <laughs> a two hour shift. By the way, we need you to cover for someone just for two hours till the other employee comes in. No. I'll do the whole day. I'd rather do 10 hours than two hours. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's crashed into my car, little prick. Nice. That's another race done. Very good, very nice. You lazy piece of cockroach. <laughs> wow. Imagine getting called a cockroach. If you got that feeling, yeah, just take time and step away. What a tune. Chase and Status is one of those artists that I'm just like, wow. They make some bangers. If you got that feeling, yeah. Just take your time and step away. Where do we go from here? Can you please turn right, not left? Absolute asshole. Honestly, uh, this is the one thing that Forza still has not got right. When you hit a barrier, cars do not stick to them. You should be able to tap a barrier and not completely stick like you're made of glue. I know, it just seems like a big problem that Forza has. Has had it all the time, I think. I'm not sure about 7, but... Motorsports 1 through to 6 have suffered from the problem every single time. It's stupid. I've also noticed that this track, weirdly enough, the entrance and the exit of the corners are tighter than the actual corner itself. Where do we go from here? Said it's getting hard to see. Yeah, it does get tighter. Because there's no way you can get around that corner at 160 but have to slow down to 150 to finish it off. It gets tighter.
Nice. Just send it, motherfucker. Just take time and step away. Where do we go from here? Said it's getting hard to see. Oh, I fucking love this song. This one's got like a really heavy riff. It's called Diarrhea Jane. I don't know if anyone's heard this, but... It's so much of a tune, I'm putting both ear cups on. Crap. That. Do you like that? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. Like that? Do you like that? Oh my god, come on. We got this. In the diary of Jane. As I look the other way. What a tune. Love this. Alright, we got six more rings to do. And then we're done. That's what she said. Ha ha ha. Alright, nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.